Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hima Subramanian. Today I'm going to share one of my personal favorite recipes. We are going to make this delicious fish curry using sear fish which is vanjaram. I have some nice fresh fish with me and I've decided to share this beautiful recipe which is nice and spicy and tangy and we are going to make it in a clay pot. So why wait, let's get started and check it out. For this fish curry, I've taken 1 kilo of sear fish which is vanjaram and it's nicely cut into even sized pieces. The first step is to coat the fish pieces that is marinate the pieces with the spice powders. To a bowl, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, about 1 and a half teaspoons of salt, 3 teaspoons of chilli powder and gently rub the fish pieces with the spice powders. Make sure everything is nicely coated. Now you can use any fish of your choice to make this curry. So this way the pieces will absorb all those nice flavours when you add it into the curry. Keep this aside. So I am using a clay pot to make this curry. You can use whatever you have at home. To the pot add about 4 tablespoons of gingerly oil. Now using gingerly oil will give a very nice flavour to the fish curry. If you don't have gingerly oil, you can use groundnut oil or you can use coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, half teaspoon fenugreek seeds, once the mustard seeds start splattering, add a bowl of finely chopped shallots. Now I've used about 30 shallots finely chopped. So you can use about 3 medium sized onions finely chopped. Next add about 10 to 15 whole shallots. Add about 15 garlic cloves. I'm using shallots for this recipe because it gives a very very nice flavour to the curry. So you need to sauté the onions till they are a nice golden brown colour. So this will take about 10 minutes. Next add about 3 slit green chilies and a few curry leaves, mix that in. Next add 3 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste, mix that in. So as you can see the onions have turned to a lovely dark brown colour now. So I am adding 4 medium sized tomatoes chopped. So you can adjust the quantity of the onions and tomatoes depending on the quantity of fish that you are using to make the curry. Cook the tomatoes till they become nice and mushy. Once the tomatoes have softened up, add about 1 teaspoon of rock salt. Add 3 teaspoons of chilli powder, 3 teaspoons of coriander powder. Again you can check for seasoning later and add more salt when required. You can see the masala for the fish curry is coming together so beautifully. It smells amazing. The masala is cooked well, the oil is beginning to separate. At this point, I am adding 1 cup of thick tamarind puree. Mix everything well. So we are going to dilute this by adding about 2 cups of water. So you can see the curry is beginning to come to a nice boil. So the raw smell of the tamarind must go before you add the fish pieces. So boil this for about 5 minutes. So once the raw smell has gone, gently drop the fish pieces. So once you have dropped the fish pieces, Make sure you don't put a spatula and mix it because you might tend to break the pieces. Just swirl the pot the way I am doing it, just so that the curry coats the fish pieces. Close the pot and cook for about 10 minutes on medium low flame. After 10 minutes, let's open and check the fish curry. Wow, that looks amazing. You can see all the oil has separated. I'm just garnishing with some chopped coriander leaves. And the fish curry smells divine. The best way to enjoy this delicious, spicy, tangy fish curry is with some nice steamed rice by the side. Key points to remember. Always make sure you buy fresh fish while making this curry. I'll give you a couple of links to all the other seafood recipes that I've done. You can go and check it out in the description. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. While you guys go and start prepping for this curry, let me enjoy this curry with some nice steamed rice now.
So as you can see how simple and tasty this recipe is. Make sure the fish is nice and fresh while making this particular dish. And uh, I've made it in my style and make sure you serve it nice and hot with some nice hot steaming rice. That's the best combination. So do try the recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description. You can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now. So you can place your orders on 21frames.in.